What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're out here in central North Carolina looking for northern water snakes. They're a super common species here, one of the most common water snakes out here. And up and along these rivers, up and along the rocks, you'll see big ones. There's some big ones here and I'm hoping to find some other ones as well. Let's go. North America is home to a large amount of really cool aquatic snakes, but the one that people probably see the most is the northern water snake. Also called the common water snake because of how plentiful they are, these snakes can be found in most rivers and small waterways that are found in their range. While I've caught plenty of northern water snakes before, I've never been able to catch an adult. So today, we're on the lookout for the biggest water snake we can possibly find. This is probably like my favorite thing about northern areas, or more north of Louisiana, I should say, are the rocky rivers here. And check that out, we've got the waterfall right behind us. That is, that is just gorgeous, I love it. You're normally gonna get northern water snakes, queen snakes, occasional garter, a black rat would be awesome. But I'm really hoping to see some big northern water snakes. Oh, snake! Got it, it's northern water snake. Oh, check this out, little baby. Have a look at that. It's a little northern water snake. They're a super whippy snake, super bitey. Oh, got me a little bit right there. They're living up and along these rocks. Ah, he's chomping me. It's okay, bud. They get way bigger than this. This is normally about the size that I find. It's kind of this medium range uh, northern water snake. But what we're out looking for is a huge one. There's some big ones around here, and that's what I really want to find. But you can see they've got a really nice banding. It looks similar to southern banded water snakes but uh, they've got a darker coloration, different looking face, and uh, it's just an overall cool snake. Not exactly what we're really looking for, right species, but we definitely want to find a big one to show you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put this little guy back. I want to put him in the water just where you guys can see one swim, so check this out. See you, buddy. That's Got him. Yeah, let's go. All right. And look at this little guy. They look a lot like a red-eared slider, but they don't have the red ears. They've got a solid yellow belly. They are not invasive. Many slider species easily become invasive, but these guys haven't really tended to do that. They eat all kinds of little algaes, all kinds of little plants. The adults will actually eat northern water snakes, which is interesting. They will eat a snake. And they're a really cool species. Look at that face. There's also red-bellied sliders here, which is interesting. I've actually never caught one of those. So that'd be really cool to see out here. But for now, we're going to let this guy go and uh, keep looking for snakes. All right, see a little yellow belly? Watch him swim off. It's really cute. Woo. Nice. All right, let's go look for snakes. Along these rocky rivers, you'll see water snakes either dart into the water or stay right hidden in the rocks. So you gotta keep your eyes open if you're gonna spot them. Oh guys, there's a really gorgeous northern water snake right here. We don't wanna handle her because she's super gravid. Bright oranges and reds. This is a gorgeous northern water snake. And they're just gonna be sitting up and along these rocks. There's gonna be tons of babies here in the next couple of weeks due to all the large females dropping their babies. They, they give birth to live young. So there's gonna be a lot of tiny little baby northern water snakes everywhere. Northern water snakes are super common up here, but I just don't get to see them where I'm at. And uh, this is probably the prettiest one I've ever seen. We're not gonna mess with it. We're gonna look for a different one to catch, but that is an absolutely beautiful snake. Big water. Got it. Here we go. That's a big northern. Hold up, I got its tail. Here we go. Oi, oi, oi. Have a look at this one. <laughs> That's the biggest northern I've ever caught. Check out that belly. That's a nice northern. Oh my goodness. Definitely the biggest one I've ever caught, for sure. Woo, oh my. This is a non-venomous species. It's okay. It's Hello, baby. Have a look at that. That is a big, pretty, northern water snake. Don't bite, sweetie. It's okay. Like all other water snakes, they love to live in the water, along these rocky outcrops, along banks. It's okay. She's actually settled down. She's not trying to bite me, but uh, she's just trying to whip away, and I want to keep her nice and supported. They've got an orangish coloration on their belly, and this one is absolutely perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better northern water snake. I'm just going to set her on the ground right here. A lot of people confuse these for water moccasins. However, in this area, Water moccasins aren't super common, especially in this more central area. So in the rivers, you're normally gonna see mostly northern water snakes. An occasional moccasin can pop up, but this is mostly what you're gonna be seeing in areas like this. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's a big one. 
was really hoping we could find one, and especially a big one. We've filmed tiny ones before over in Tennessee. This is about as big as I can hope for. They do get bigger than this, but this is a great size one. This is a massive one. Have a look at that. They've got keeled scales, which means there's a little ridge down their scales, which makes them really rough. It's okay, baby. I'm gonna be very gentle. And she's actually being really nice. Notice how she's not striking at me? After just a little bit of handling, water snakes actually do tend to calm down, some of them. I love that belly. Have a look at that belly. That's gorgeous. I've got that banding. A lot of people will confuse these guys with banded water snakes. I normally like to see the lines on the face, which is a good tell that it's a northern or a midland even. Now, midland water snakes are what we get down in Mississippi. And they look similar to this, but they've got more of a reddish brown color. And uh, these guys are more that dark brown tan coloration. Look at this. Look at how big that snake is. That is absolutely perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better northern water snake. And uh, definitely could have, couldn't have asked for a more beautiful area to find them. Obviously, this is pretty close to a lot of residential areas. And northern water snakes are a very common species for people to see in urban areas because they can live in lots of different little waterways that uh, people are nearby. You'll see these guys in parks. You'll see these guys off the highway. You'll pretty much see these guys pretty much anywhere there's a nice source of water and lots of fish. Their favorite thing, it's okay. Their favorite thing to eat are fish and frogs. So uh, they're going to be eating a lot of those in residential areas like this. We're going to go ahead and get this baby back into the rocks, but that is an absolutely gorgeous snake. Alright, we're going to go ahead and let this baby down right here. She was right up in these rocks. So we're going to sit her. The water's flowing fast, so not the best to put them in the water. And she's going to have babies soon. So I'm just going to slip her right here. There you go, sweetie. That is awesome. Look at that. Well guys, that's it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, definitely subscribe and like this video for more content. And we will see you guys next time.